know all of mum's wonderful peeps in her universal world of peeps yes it's right it's me it's cat again mum's actually in america with family for thanksgiving so i've stepped in so she can have a bit of a break so today i'm going to be making a really quick easy staple for my family my version of chili i'm not going to say chili con carne even though it is chili con carne because it's not real chili con carne but it's chili so come across and these are the ingredients that we have and i'm going to do it with rice and peas all right so i'll get started please please don't forget to like share and subscribe to our channel and if you really like us maybe consider becoming a patreon and then that way if you send enough we can send you some of mama's love dust okay thank you so my teenager reminded me that i'd forgotten to put a bra on and i realized at that point that i turned into my mother so as you can see, things are slightly better. Right, come on, we're gonna get started. Right. First thing we're gonna <laughs> first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put uh, some oil, not too much, in a pan um, over the heat. You want a medium heat. Um, and to that oil, we're going to season the pot so that when we put all the vegetables and things in, it's already seasoned. So the first thing I'm gonna put in is our love dust, which you can buy from our website, or you can send us an email to mamacherry.productions at gmail.com and we will send some to you. So I'm gonna put a liberal amount, come to the pot, sweet pea, into the bottom of the pan. And then to that, I'm also gonna add some ground coriander. I mean, a lot of this is already in the love dust, but I just wanted to add a little bit more just to give it a bit of a peck. Um, some garlic granules, because we like garlic in this house and some no not put that one in yet yeah so just those few and then just let that heat for a second all right and then to that i'm going to add this is some onions and some fresh chopped garlic now i'm not going to add all of it i'm going to hold some back for the rice but i'm going to put most of the onions in so i'm going to hold that much back for the rice and if you notice by seasoning the pot every single onion picks up that seasoning so that the seasoning should be evenly distributed throughout the dish okay so now i'm just going to wait for a second to let these just heat through a bit and get a bit translucent and then we'll come back to the next step so as i'm so used to being behind the camera i realized that i'd made absolutely no kind of effort and i was looking all kinds of rough so i've kind of anyway we've addressed that the next thing you want to do come and have a look at the pot so once the onions are a little bit translucent, at this point you want to add the beef. Now this is just minced beef. I think over there in the state you guys call it hamburger, hamburger meat, but it's, yeah, it's just ground beef mince. Okay, so we're just going to put this in and we just want this to brown. Now at this point I'm just going to add some oregano, or oregano as you guys call it. What? Nice amount on the top and some of this coriander leaf. Okay, so I'm just going to wash my hands and then get this browned and then we'll come back. Okay, so as you can see, the mince is very nearly finished browning. And I've just given it a stir just to mix the onions and the garlic in. So at this point, I'm going to make up the... Um... Now, there is no shame in using a packet, okay? I have seasoned it well, but you really want that kind of chili con carne flavour to come through. And I use a packet. Please, it's easy, it's quick, and there's no shame in it. So what you want to do is you want to just pour the packet into a receptacle. I'm going to use a pint glass, plastic pint glass. And then add some water. I used this earlier for stock earlier. And then just give it a little bit of a mix. And once the meat is as brown as you'd like finished browning, you then pour this over. We'll do that in a second. Okay, so the mince is finished browning so at this point we're going to add our kidney beans just a pan of kidney beans drain them first and a can of chopped tomatoes oh damn it they're not chopped these are plum but that's okay soon they will be chopped by doing this <laughs> no such thing as a mistake you just have to make adjustments so normally I would have used chopped tomatoes, but I didn't read the tin, and these are peeled plum tomatoes, but it really doesn't matter. Just gotta make break them up. And in fact, because of that, I might add 
another can. Babe, can you get me another can of tomatoes, please? Here's some chopped ones. Yes, thank you. All right, I need to get that opened. Can of chopped tomatoes. That's better. Oops. Just mix that in. And then at this point, we're going to add a secret ingredient. Now, it goes against every fibre of my being because I hate the stuff. But as an ingredient in food, Marmite works really, really well. Now, don't worry if you haven't got it. It's not necessary in any way, shape or form. However, if you do have it, I would recommend using it. Now, when I say a little bit, I mean a little bit because this stuff is strong. You really only want about that much. So not even a teaspoon. OK, I'll just pop that in. Give it a stir. And then we're going to add our chili con carne mix. Okay, and so you see this little bit of powder at the bottom, so just put that in. Now we need to leave this to simmer for about 25 minutes. Okay, and that way all the flavours will go through, it'll infuse through, and at that point then I'll end up some tomato puree just to thicken it a bit. But in the meantime, we're going to come over and make the rice. So just give me a sec to get this covered. When you cover it and simmer it, you'll know, first we're going to bring it to a boil. So I'm going to leave it on the heat that it's at. As it starts to boil, I will then turn it down, cover it, and leave it to simmer. Okay? I've just been informed by my daughter that she likes it a bit spicy, so I'm going to add just a little bit of cayenne pepper. Not too much, but just a little bit, because the chilli con carne set I got was mild. So, that should do it. Give that a stir, and then that should add a little pep to it. Okay, so moving on to the rice. Again, the first thing we're going to do is season the pot. So again, love dust. In the bottom of the pan, just so it covers it. Let that cook off just for a second. Why have you put it up there? I can't reach out there. You're going to need it again today. All right, I'm Maybe. Done. Sorry, honey. Yeah? Better. Yeah. I forget. My daughter's only five foot one. Two. <laughs> Sorry, two. To that, we're going to add some onions yeah. and garlic. So rude. Oh, no. Sorry, babe. And some peppers. Doesn't matter what colour peppers. This is what we had in the fridge. This is what I used. Okay. Going to give that a stir and that, so that it can pick up all of the spices. In fact, you know what? I am going to move this to the back, this to the front, turn this down. Do you want me to do it? No, sorry, I put it on in. And turn this up. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so we should wait for this to heat up, so I'll come back in a sec. Why is this doing? Okay, so I always use long grain, easy cook rice, just because it's easy. I haven't got to wash it. There's no fat in around. So there's only two of us having rice. I'm not going to cook too much, although I never know how much rice is too much rice. I'm in a bit of a nightmare. About that much should be plenty. Okay. And then again, give it a stir so it picks up all of the spices. So every single grain of rice should have some seasoning on it. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, at this point, I'm going to add some turmeric. Now, again, not very much at all. Turmeric is apparently very good for inflammation, and I suffer from inflammation, so I should be having lots of turmeric in my diet. So not, again, not even a teaspoon. Just going to sprinkle the turmeric over. And give it a stir. Okay. Now I just made up some stock using a vegetable stock cube. It doesn't have to be homemade. And the amount of rice, I mean liquid that I put in, you want it to be kind of like an inch above the rice. So I'm just going to pop some in. Yeah, that's about right actually. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah, about an inch. That's perfect. So that's it. I'm not going to touch that rice again. Okay, I'm just going to leave it alone. I'm going to walk away from it. I'm going to let it come to a boil. At that point, once the, the water starts to absorb, I'll come back and show you what I'm going to do next. But 
do this isn't a risotto you don't need to stir it mess with it just leave it alone okay a lot of people don't realize but actually you cook with your ears as well as your eyes and your nose and your mouth what seriously i could hear that and because i heard that bubbling i knew to come back to the pot to check to make sure it wasn't coming falling down too much yeah but don't you just cook with all your no senses? no no yeah all what your senses so hearing well no because a lot of people don't know that so just listen to that that proves that you need all of your senses and can cook with your ears as well as your nose okay so i'm just gonna have a little taste of the rice because the water as you can see has almost completely cooked out it's almost there so I'm going to cover it and just turn it down a little bit. All right, now let's taste the chilli. Now, I think we're going to have to add some flour to this just to thicken it a bit because it's a little bit soupy, I think, because of the extra can of tomatoes. But I just want to see if the flavours are there. It still needs to cook for a bit longer because I really want those flavours to really cook in and that meat to just tenderise. But let's just give a little taste. Needs salt. And before anyone complains, this food is for my family, which is why I'm able to have a taste. It's fine. We live together, have the same germs, uh, just so you know. Uh. Isn't you overcompensating now? Well, just because everyone's like, oh, she didn't clean the spoon. Because it's family cooking. That's why I didn't clean the spoon. Yeah, I need salt. But other than that, it's pretty good, actually. But I'll have Elle, Elle taste it because she is the chili con carne connoisseur. But yeah, we'll let that cook for about another 15 minutes and then I might add some flour just to thicken it up a bit. And then the whole dish should be ready by then, okay? Okay, so Elle's tasted it and she's told me that it needs more love dust. So she, it's the dish that she knows best, so I'm going to take her word for it. No, you forget your bolognese is a dish I know best. Yeah, but you know what I mean. Okay, so I'm just going to give it another stir through, let it cook through, then we'll do another taste and see if we need to add some more. Because that's the thing about cooking, until you taste it, you don't know if it's right and there's no shame in adding more or do you know what I mean you can't always add but you can't ever take away so there we go all right so we'll come back in a second and see it again okay I'm pretty sure that it's done so I'm just gonna switch what do you mean pretty sure it's done I tasted it it tastes nice and why do you say pretty sure it's done all right so I'm just gonna get a bowl because I'm actually hungry so I might eat mine now so the rice, yep, perfect. So I am going to, thank you, my love, a bit of rice, and then I'm going to top it with. You're eating later, aren't you, darling? Mm hmm Okay. Chili on top, and then give it a taste. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> so there we have it. That's my version of chili con carne. Took, what, about half an hour altogether, Al? Do you reckon? Hour. An hour? Mm-hmm. Okay, an hour. That's okay. I mean, a lot of that was walking away from it and sitting around. In terms of actual cooking and prep time, it's not long at all. And I'm pretty sure... It tastes amazing, so I'm just going to give it a little taste. I'm sure it needs salt because I have salt to everything. Mmm. Yeah, it's good. So, <laughs> with a little bit of peace, a whole lot of love, and salt from, not the mama, but from Kat. Thank you. And <laughs>